how do all of these different ecosystems of uh, Web 3.0 projects link together? And so, for example, as an example, when you take the first concept that you heard of, like which is authentication, uh, many of you might have heard of something called Magic.link, uh, which is a company that raised uh, some amount of funding recently, or the Ethereum naming service. Uh, because those are effectively just giving a username and a password, how do you know the person behind that? If you combine, say, digital credentials that you can carry out and have been verified to a certain degree, then uh, what you can effectively say, you could have like one click onboarding, uh, which you don't ever have to fill out a form ever again, because you can do the sign on and the authentication and the check that you carry out in, in one go. If you then go on to looking at the next one, um, you know, NFTs are a big topic uh, right now. So when you think of like non-fungible tokens, um, one of the aspects of that you need to bear in mind is how do you understand it came from the real artist or how do you understand certain like aspects of authentic authenticity about that uh, data itself? So uh, from the from the point of like a digital artwork, if you, you if you could combine a token which represents a digital artwork, along with credentials that come along with it about the artwork itself, uh, it creates a more compelling and perhaps a more verified experience. So oracles obviously are giving us data feeds about what is happening in the real world and like bridging that gap to blockchain applications. Um, how can you then perhaps create like certified snapshots at a point in time of what happened in the real world, um, which can be tackled in, in multiple ways. Uh, but there's aspects of that, you know, which could be put into a credential that says it's a certified snapshot. Um, if you go on to the next slide, then the other sort of angle here is, let's, the other question we get asked is, how is this different from, say, a decentralized storage format like um, IPFS, Definity, or Solid? Um, and, the, and the analogy that I use there is like, you know, IPFS is probably where you or any of these decentralized storage mechanisms is often where you can store personal data. For instance, you might be able to store the Zoom recording, you might be able to store large files, you might be able to store picture collections, um, but they're often for larger file size data that you need to distribute around, perhaps of low assurance, um, and you can have higher level of assurance data on a credential. And what can be quite compelling perhaps is to go back to that idea of how you have a single click authentication and the person behind it. You can also then go and look at how can you use digital credentials to give access to uh, decentralized storage and, and what that sort of like means in terms of making online experiences uh, more seamless and secure. The other one that comes up is often things like decentralized ad network. If you have heard of the idea of a basic attention token, which is from the Brave Browser team, um, that is about like, you know, connecting uh, vast levels of behavioral data. So it's still personal data, but it's um, often observed information or it's observed or inferred data about someone. Um, and the, the, the point there, of course, is that like, you know, I mean, it, it could be used to run ad networks or like how ad networks currently work is they um, collect a lot of your data. You don't really have a lot of control on where they end up going and how it's used. Um, but the lower level sort of like behavioral data doesn't necessarily prove that I'm Anka Banerjee or that I'm person X. Um, and that's where um, in terms of how there are a lot of like technologies that are working towards decentralization of behavioral data, um, can have a step up mechanism when you get to, when you need a higher level of assurance, let's say you're opening up a bank account or traveling um, where the digital credentials or SSI credentials come in, um, while the, the technologies that provide the decentralization of behavioral data can help with the lower level assurance data that is, that is often collected about us online.